everybody, and if you're watching us hand feeding today, we're hand feeding Ruby. Ruby is our rescue, and actually she's up for grabs at the moment. Right, uh, today's lesson is on a muzzle. Ruby has bitten a few people who attempted to put a muzzle on her, and being uh, a dog with a baggage, she's a rescue belonging to the RSPCA, well, she does have a reason to wear the muzzle, I'm afraid. So, and we tried to make it nice and easy on her. So that was a piece of cake, so to speak. Right. Anyway, for us lazy dog trainers, we do everything at home, sitting in a comfortable chair rather than walking up and down the muddy footpath. Now, this is Ruby's Dina. So you can see the full feeding bowl. She's all ready. And uh, over the last few weeks, uh, she's been hand fed, well, pretty much every single meal. No exception there. But that became a conditional feat. So now she had to perform simple tasks. So now the tasks today are muzzle. Good girl, Ruby. Ruby, muzzle? Yes, good girl. Now, just like a simple targeting practice, muzzle, Ruby, yes, good girl. Ruby had to start paying attention to muzzle, Ruby, yes, good girl. To the muzzle, wherever it goes, Ruby, muzzle, yes, good girl. She would have to start paying attention. I'm not using a clicker, as you can hear, but my clicker word, such as Ruby, muzzle, yes, good girl, is sharply pointing the moment she succeeds. Ruby, muzzle, good girl. Right, fairly easy stuff. Muzzle, good girl. Right, how do you start the dog there? Well, it's either just a simple touch my hand kind of thing. Ruby, touch, yes, good girl. Or a bit of blue ring. Why not mix both of them? Imagine. For a period of time, you would be holding a biscuit right there. So Ruby goes in, she gets a kibble. Ruby goes in, she gets a kibble. Ruby moves forward and gets in, yay! She gets a kibble, and so on. Luckily, there are about 400 kibbles in there, so I could stretch the session over 10, 15 minutes. Well, don't waste any more of your time for it, otherwise training becomes burden. And now I want it to be nice and easy and comfortable. Now, in the past, we've established a, another command which sounds like this. Stay still. Good girl. Where we reward the dog for doing absolutely nothing. It's not even a stay, it's a freeze kind of skill. So now, we apply that to the muzzle. So this is your exercise number two. Ready? Still. Good girl. Well done. Ready? Still. Good girl. So now, this, you can see, becomes a voluntary and a happy response. Well done, Ruby, just move out of the room. Good girl, perfect. She's becoming accurate and precise. Still, in, out. Now, obviously, making everything a little bit wider, used and well, prolonged. Ready, still. <laughs> that was good. So now, again, when you want to put the straps on, obviously, this wouldn't take any longer. So you will just do exactly what you want to do. And the dog is still excited about this. The next exercise with the muzzle is this. Good girl, Ruby. Good girl. Ready? And still, Ruby, sit. Still. Still. Good girl. So now teaching the muzzle becomes a lot of fun. Ruby, stand and still. I like that. You can see, you can pretty much put Ruby into the pose mode in any command. And the next one will come as a big surprise to you. Curtsy. Good. Still. 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 Isn't she awesome? Good girl. Now this one took us a couple of days to master. Down. Flat. Ruby. Down. Flat. Still. Stay still. Ruby. Down. Still. Stay. Still. Still. Uh, <laughs> she's moving back into a normal lie down. She's good enough on its own, but we want down and flat. Stay, flat, stay, Ruby. Stay. I like that. That's a very good one. This one, for some reason, she was quite reluctant to do. So once again, I saw a strong point in overcoming that. Right, Ruby Paw. Right, she's pretty good with that, right? But how about this one? That's cute. Ruby both. Both. Good girl. Now what I want her to do is to do this with the muzzle. There. Both. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Ru. Stay. I like that. 
and that was very good. So you can see it's all doable and again makes training variable, interesting and full of fun. Now an absolute must in the training is for the dog to feel pretty much the same kind of, no Ruby, leave it, uh, the same kind of spirit when the muzzle is on. So this time we're not just working towards the muzzle, we're working in the muzzle. So as you can see, that was a fairly easy job. So Ruby, this way. Room. Now food will come. Sit. Stay. Good girl. Nice. And stay still. Room. There you go. Muzzle there. Well done. We have done this before. And there were times when she would actually decide to skip the dinner because the muzzle, nah, no fun. Well, anyway, it's up to us to make it fun if we want to. Good girl. Room. Well done. Now, thanks uh, to the manufacturers and importers of this cute muzzle. Now, training aggressive dogs has become a child's game. So now it's safe, it's secure, and um, again, you don't have much time, you can feed the dog the whole thing. She would actually finish the bowl of food in the muzzle. You would think, what's the point of the muzzle in the first place? Well, she can do absolutely everything. Well, I guess a tennis ball game and Biting is out of question. So now we do a very simple mocking about Ruby this way, good girl. Ruby this way, good girl. And to start with, all I want is just a little bit of cooperation. Ruby this way, nice. Good girl. She can go and pick up the biscuits from the floor quite comfortably with that. I just make it a little bit faster by doing it myself. And we make it a little bit more interactive again. Oh, there she goes. Come on, Ruby. There you go. Look. Nice. Rudum. And twirl. Good girl. Well done. Ruby down. Good girl. Ruby sit. Excellent job there. Ruby big. Oh, I love that. That was awesome. Poor. Oh, smashing. Good girl. And so on. Right. Anyway, we've been through about, I would say, 100, 150 kibbles there. Sometimes using two or three of them is okay. But um, this is how Ruby learns to be a good dog. To go for a walk, to come into a heel position and so on. Ruby, this way. And sit, good girl. To pretty much be told what to do in a comfortable, nice setting. We call this controlled environment. So some people would not enjoy the idea of a muzzle. Some dogs would not like that. Well, it's up to us to help them understand it and to teach our dogs to like the muzzle. Hasn't she done well today? And for the sake of timekeeping, we will finish the session with a bang. It's a no. Stay, Ruby. Stay. Wait there. Are you ready? Are you steady? Then go! Oh, you good girl. Well done. So thank you very much, guys, for watching, and we will see you in the next few videos soon. Bye.